If you want to boost your FPS from this to this, well, in today's video, I'm going to show you the best void strap fast flag settings that will boost your FPS, reduce lag, and make Roblox super smooth. These settings will give you the best performance possible. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Optimize Windows Settings for Best Roblox Performance Windows has cool animations like fading, sliding, and shadows that make it look pretty. But these effects also use up memory and power, which can make Roblox slower. To do this, press the Windows key and type Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Click it when it shows up. A new window will appear called Performance Options. In this window, select Adjust for Best Performance. This turns off all the extra animations so your computer focuses on speed instead of looks. If you still want your screen to look nice and not too plain, scroll down and check only these two options. Smooth edges of screen fonts makes text easier to read. Show thumbnails instead of icons. Let's you see image previews instead of just file icons. Click Apply to save changes. Then go to the Advanced tab at the top. Under Processor Scheduling, choose Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. This makes your PC give more power to Roblox instead of background stuff. Finally, click OK to save and exit. Now your computer will use fewer resources on visuals and give more power to your games, which means smoother Roblox performance and better FPS. Step 2. Boost Roblox FPS using Void Strap and Fast Flags. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now let's use a tool called Voidstrap Launcher to make Roblox run faster and smoother. Voidstrap is like Blockstrap, but with more powerful features. First, download and install Voidstrap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack. After installing, search for Voidstrap in your Windows search bar and open it. Once it opens, go to the Settings tab. Inside the Integrations tab, you'll see options like player message logs and other small extras. These are not very important, but they are there if you need them. Next, go to the Deployment tab. This part is really useful because it allows multi-instance launching, meaning you can open more than one Roblox game at the same time. It also has cross-game teleportation, which lets you move between Roblox games without fully restarting, though it's still not fully tested. Then go to the Modifications tab. Here, you can manage things like old Roblox sounds, a mods folder, and other extra features that Blockstrap also has. But the best part is the Fast Flag Editor. You'll notice green check marks and red X's next to flags. Green means it's preset, red means it's custom. This makes it easier to understand which flags are already optimized. At the top, you'll see buttons like Copy All Flags, Copy Better JSON, and Find Flag. You can also create profiles to save your flag settings for later. This makes Voidstrap even more advanced than Blockstrap. Now, click Import JSON, paste your fast flags, and save them. Then check the Fast Flag Settings tab. This section has ready-made flag settings you can enable instantly without typing anything. They are designed to reduce ping and boost FPS quickly. Voidstrap also has an Appearance tab and Shortcuts tab, just like Blockstrap. But one special feature is the AI Chat, Beta, which will one day allow you to ask questions about fast flags directly in the app. When you're done, save all settings, launch Roblox, and test your FPS. You'll notice Roblox runs smoother, faster, and with lower ping using Voidstrap. Step 3. Unpark CPU cores to make your processor work better for gaming. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your CPU processor has multiple cores, like little workers inside your PC. Sometimes Windows puts some of these cores to sleep to save power. This is called CPU parking, and it can slow down games like Roblox because not all cores are working. To fix this, open the Unpark CPU tool from your Boost Pack. Right-click it and select Run as Administrator so it has permission to make changes. When it opens, it will show you all the cores of your CPU. If you see the word Parked, it means that core is turned off. Click the Unpark button. This will wake up all the CPU cores so your computer can use its full power. Once all cores are active, Roblox and other games will run much faster, especially during heavy gameplay when many things are happening on the screen. This step makes sure your CPU is always using 100% of its cores, giving you smoother FPS, less lag, and faster response time. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. 
On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Use MSI Utility to make your GPU respond faster. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your GPU graphics card is what powers Roblox visuals. Sometimes it doesn't communicate with your PC as fast as it could, and that causes lag or stutters. The MSI Utility V3 tool helps fix this by making your GPU respond quicker. Open the MSI Utility V3 tool from your boost pack. A list of devices will appear. Find your dedicated GPU. It will say NVIDIA or AMD Radeon. Check the box under the MSI column for your GPU. This changes how the GPU talks to your system and makes it faster. Next, set interrupt priority to high. This tells your PC to give the GPU more attention than other devices. If you also see your integrated GPU, like Intel UHD graphics, you can enable it the same way. Click apply and close the tool. Now your GPU will send and receive data faster, which helps Roblox graphics render more smoothly with less lag. This can make a big difference in your FPS, especially during fast movements in Roblox. Step 5. Use Throttle Stop to keep CPU speed consistent while playing. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Sometimes your CPU slows down to prevent overheating, which can cause Roblox to stutter. The tool. Throttle Stop keeps your CPU speed stable so your games run smoother without sudden drops. Open the Throttle Stop folder from your Boost Pack and double-click throttlestop.exe to launch it. When it opens, choose the game profile. Then check the box for high performance so your CPU always stays in performance mode. You don't need to change advanced options like clock mode or multiplier unless you are an expert. Just look for the option, disable turbo and turn it on. This makes your CPU stable and prevents sudden speed changes while playing. Click turn on and then save. Keep throttle stop running in the background while you play Roblox. This ensures your CPU stays steady, which helps reduce lag spikes and makes gameplay smoother. Step 6. Use the Optimizer tool to speed up Windows. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. The Optimizer tool is an all-in-one app that turns off unnecessary Windows features that slow down your PC. This helps free up more power for Roblox. Open the Optimizer tool from your Boost Pack. Go to the General tab and look through sections like System, App, Privacy, and Disk Drive. In the System section, turn on these options. Optimize Performance. Show all notification icons. Remove menu delay. Optimize network. Disable error. Reporting. Disable compatibility. Assistant disable. Printer services. Disable sticky keys and smart screen. In the app section, turn on all options to make apps run better. In the privacy section, turn on everything to block tracking and save resources. In the disk drive section, turn off superfetch and hibernation since they slow down performance. Now go to the tab for your Windows version, Windows 10 or Windows 11. Under Gaming, turn on Game Mode but turn off Xbox Game Bar and Xbox Live services, since they can lower FPS. Under Privacy, disable Telemetry Service, Cortana, News and Interests, Start Menu Ads, and Edge Discover. In System, disable People, Sensors, and Virtualization-based Security. Finally, in the Windows Update section, you can disable Auto Updates so they don't slow down your PC during gameplay. This is optional. When finished, click Restart so the changes take effect. After this, your PC will run faster, Roblox will use fewer resources, and you'll get higher FPS with lower ping. These steps together will help make your computer run faster and give you more FPS in Roblox. If this guide helped you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and I'll see you in the next one.